Hi, this is Paul from Dynamic Diesel Performance and Machine. Today we're going to talk about setting rings on pistons. Um, I get a lot of questions from guys, buy pistons from us. How do you put the rings on? Which way do they go? Some of them are marked top, some of them are marked bottom, and they get a little confused. So uh, we're going to make a quick video here and kind of go down the row of how it works. Set a piston over here and show you. Okay, we're going to stop. start with the bottom ring. Ring land right here. This is your oil control or oil rings. This is your expander right here. This goes inside and goes on here first. Then you have your outer. Now, when you're putting these on, you'll see there's paint marks on them. I always get questions about that. That paint mark right there always lines up with that right there. So basically it's 180 degrees apart from where it expands. So if you look real close, you always want this to line up with that, 180 from that. So you put those on, and the second ring, this is a one that I get confused, a lot of people get these confused with the top rings. So the second ring, if you look right here, you'll see a little dot, and it's very faint, but you'll see an M top. So this ring would actually go facing topwards that way. And you can see as there's a bevel on it, if you can see the bevel or not, but the actual bevel, it's facing downwards. If you get a set of pistons, uh, we use mall pistons so they're all marked, but if you ever get a set of pistons with these, uh, with the second rings, and there's no dots, or mall top right there, or top, um, that means that that ring can go in either way, up or down. But we use all mall pistons here, and you can see that chamfer on the, on the actual pist piston ring. This is your second ring. That one there, make sure you guys put them in correctly. They go in, you know, there, and like I said, that's the top. So this, this would be facing upward to the piston. And on the top ring, they're marked with an M. That one goes on the top. And these, what do they call keystone rings? So the keystone rings, they have an inner taper. I don't know if you can see that in the actual, uh, actually right there, yeah. If you look at the inner taper, the inner taper, um, that is the top ring. I always get, people get confused. What, is this the top ring or is this the top ring? The top ring, how you can tell, if you're confused, you see the barrel shininess of the ring right there? Now, if you look at the second ring, it is not shiny. It's just black in color. You know, the, the molly coating or grapple coating they put on the actual ring. This one is just a very faint dullness to it. It's not shiny. You look at this one, shiny. So you can lay them together, put them up on their sides and look at them. And you can tell the difference. See, you can see the difference in it. The shiny is always the top ring. The dark one's always the bottom. And again, um, you know, just a quick tip of where the piston rings go. Now we'll go into ring gap um, real quick. These don't need to be gapped unless you're making an absorbent amount of horsepower, the bottom rings. The second rings don't need to be gapped. They are pre-gapped. Unless, like I said, you're making a considerable amount of horsepower, but these are about 50 thousandths gap. Um, the reason they do that is the pressure differential because there's so these things are in so much cylinder pressure, they try to get these gaps a little bit bigger um, to try to relieve the pressure between the two, the bottom and the top ring. The top ring... Um, anything under 18 thousandths, you should probably open them up. 18 to 22, 24 thousandths, somewhere in there. Um, these do come pre-gapped. They are preset for the bore size. Um, it's always good to check them, but it's not 100% necessary to gap them. Um, I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of gapping stuff. And um, usually, it's 4 thousandths per inch of bore if you're going to do, a, you know, turbocharge application, something real heavy. But um, if you do have some questions about ring gaps, you can always call in or send us an email, and I can. Uh, explain to you, uh, you know, depending on your application, anything under seven, 800 horsepower, you can just leave those alone. Um, some guys will open them up a couple foul because they, you know, if they're spraying nitrous or something, but for a street application, some you're going to drive every day. These are, these are a pre-gapped piston ring. So just wanted to do a quick tip of the day here of, um, you know, which way the piston rings go on the pistons. Check us out on the website, Dynamic Diesel 
Thanks for watching.